Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Seving. Today we've got some brand new modern quilting fabric to show you and I'm so excited about it. We've got a new line from Cotton and Steel and a new line from Banyan Batiks that's all modern batiks. I know it's been a really long time since we've had batiks here at Quilt Addicts Anonymous, but my very good friend Jessica Vandenberg, who we've had her cotton prints in the store before, designed a line exclusively for Banyan, and it's gorgeous. It's fun, it's modern, it will look great on your shelves, and contrary to popular belief, one can mix and match print with batik. It might look a little, little different than what you're used to, but if it's a scrappy quilt, go for the color. Don't worry about whether it's, you know, printed cotton versus batik. You have my permission. All right, so we're going to take a peek at these today, and we're going to, as always, you can grab all the goodies over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. If you enjoy the free tutorials, if you enjoy the free tips and tricks, a good way to say thanks is when you are planning your next project is to get your supplies from us. All right, let's take a look at these. So the boutique line is super large. So what we did was we split it into two colorways. We have a hot and a cools. And that way, if it's something that, you know, if, if your budget allows for you to get all of them, fabulous, add both to your cart. If you need to mix and match it, you can always get some yardage or you can just get one or the other and fill in your stash that way. Let's take a look at some of these prints and then we will um, dive in to the cotton and steel line. Let's start with the dark. So if you want to learn more about the development of this line and just take a peek at Jessica and Mai's friendship, we did an interview with Jessica. We posted it last week to the channel. We'll link it in the video description down below. This one is just going to be that modeled black in the background. You never get a true solid with batik. It's always a modeled look because it is hand dyed and hand stamped with a Rax Resist to create the design. So this one is just a bunch of tiny diamonds. This are great for any kind of background to make those batik prints pop. This swirly doodle is also really fun and I think it would also make a good background if you're pairing it with a bunch of really bright batiks. All right, so this one is a little iffy on its background potential, but if you picked these prints to go with it, it would look absolutely fabulous because each of these colors are represented in the little bits here. There's just that little pop of color. Looks great, looks absolutely fabulous. I could see this as a split nine patch for our beginner kit with two and a half yards of this for your background, and then these five as your focus prints. This crosshatch design is really cool because it actually is kind of in a hexagon shape. So that is a really cool design to work with here. And that orange matches perfectly with the orange in that previous background. It's gorgeous. All right, we've got one more orange design for you here. It's more of a circular, very organic shape. And it's a little bit lighter than the one we just looked at, but it's just as gorgeous. This yellow is so bright and vibrant. I just love it. And that plus design is also very fun. I got myself out of order and missed the black. So this one is our black and white, but again, we have little hints of the blue and green in there. So you could incorporate those colors in a scrappy quilt and it would just look like you were a master at pattern matching. Here's that circular design here and more of a hot pink magenta. This one is a really deep magenta pink and it has that hexagon cross hatch again. I love this print. Now we're getting more into those pink purples. Here we have the plus design. We've seen this design before in the black and white, but this one is just a two color where you have that really deep magenta, almost purple, but it's modeled. So you're always gonna get a little bit of color variation in there and it's just absolutely fantastic. All right, so that's it for the hot fat quarter bundle. Now remember, we made up these hot and cool fat quarter bundles just so that way you guys wouldn't feel like you have to get the whole fat quarter bundle because we know that that can be a lot of fabric and it's not always awesome on the budget. But if you love them all and you need to get them all, just add both to your cart and you can have the full collection. All right, we're going to move on to the cool collection now. So this is kind of a dusty purple. It's very saturated in its color. And again, it's got that model look because it's a batik. Here's that circle print again, this time in more of a brighter purple. Here's that same print we looked at here and here, this time in a much lighter, paler purple. Now we're transitioning into those blue greens with a nice, happy blue. I think that this is hands down my favorite chop design. The chop, by the way, is the 
um, stamp that they use to put the wax on the batik and they put the wax on and then they dye it. Sometimes they dye it first too and then they put the chalk down and what it does is it seals it in and so whatever color was there stays while they dye it with in this case blue and then they boil it to get all of the wax off so if you ever are worried about washing this in like hot water or ink running like it's been through a lot already it should be good to go um, but this is super fun and I, I love the way that this one looks. I love this one. You know I love me a good teal and this one is definitely a good like tealy blue and it is really pretty with that little bit of resist there. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I love it. I'm, I'm here for this one. I think this one could also work as a background depending on what you pair it with. Like these greens, they really pop against it and you just kind of have to be careful about what you put next to it. Like this one probably would get lost but any of these really bright colors would work with it. This background is even deeper than the one we just looked at. It's definitely like that lagoon feel of that mix between a deep teal and a blue and it's just really, really pretty. This is that exact same print but in a really limey green and it looks so different but it looks so good. This one I would say is more like lemon lime. It's definitely a mix between the two and I love it in this plus print. All right, we've got one final one to look at. This is a seafoam green version of the chop. Again, I think this could work as a background depending on what you pair it with. Not gonna work for these really bright, but for some of these really deeper jewel tone ones, you can absolutely make that work. All right, so that is Spectrum and it's by Jessica Vandenbergs for Banyan Batik. Banyan is part of the Northcott family of fabrics, so you know them well. And again, we have split it into a cool and a hot colorway. That's just something we did to break it up to make it more price friendly for you all, but feel free to grab both if you need this entire thing in your life. All right, now we are moving on to our cotton and steel line. This collection is called Among Flowers by Puebla a Studio for Cotton and Steel. It is a celebration of all things Southwest and Native American. So it looks really amazing. And it's definitely in that's something you don't see every day, but also um, I think really well done in sort of like a blocky um, screen printing kind of way. So we're gonna take a peek at it here. All right, this first piece we're gonna see a few times. So we have some birds and we have some bugs, but they're not like creepy bugs. They're not realistic in any sense of the word. We just have some body segments and, and some extra legs. Um, it reminds me a lot of the drawings that you would see on cliff sides if you would go to the American Southwest um, in its linear format. And this coral background is really pretty. Here's that same print again. This time we have, it's not quite brown and it's not quite olive green. Um, it coordinates fabulously with my sweater, um, but it is, it's really a fun one. And it really makes the other colors pop when we have this sort of really light turquoise teal and the blues in there, it really pops against that. This one is just a two color print. We have a really rich green and I wouldn't call it forest green. It, it does not at all remind me of like my 90s living room, but it is a really fun, rich, deep green. And then it has the line block drawings and the animals. So we have a bunny, a frog, birds, and it really is just really pretty. Now we cannot have a collection that's called Among Flowers without having some flowers. So we have some beautiful flowers. Again, it's really kind of blocky in the screen printing design. And I believe these are little birds flying around eating the seeds. So it's really fun and I love this blue background. It's really very pretty. This one is really pretty as well. It is more organic in its flower arrangement and it does a good job of incorporating those blues a little bit it almost looks purple like a dusty purple in some of these and that lighter teal and then that same like not fully goldenrod yellow but somehow matches my sweater absolutely perfectly we were holding up sweaters vests early and we're like which one matches better this one won by a landslide we're back to that blocky flower again. This blue is a little bit uh, brighter almost. Um, it's still very deep, but it just isn't as dusty as the one we looked at before. And then we had those peach accents instead of a teal. Here's that very organic flower again. This background almost looks black to me. I'm not sure if it's black or just like a really deep charcoal, but this lighter blue, this more medium blue with the coral popping out, it just is absolutely gorgeous. So for this block print, it's one of those fabrics where you have to like hold it up next to a blue and hold it up next to a black to figure out which one it is. I feel
feel like it really could go either way depending on what you're pairing it with. This is another one where it's like, is it blue, is it gray? Depends on how you use it. You could really make it work either way. Really a pretty color. We're back to that really organic flower and I feel like if I had this as a skirt with this sweater, it would just be like a perfect combo. All right, we have that more blocky flower with the birds and the seeds floating around. And again, it's not brown, it's not green, it's not yellow, it's just some amalgamation of them all. But it really makes everything else pop when you combine it and include it with it. And we are back to our blocky little creatures, our little buggies and our, I think this is supposed to be a frog, and our birds, and it really is just fun. They're just very like abstract representations of the real thing and it's really adorable. And now we are in low volume background territory. This is just a series of dots that actually kind of makes a pattern as it comes out. And these were like legit just cut and folded like right now. So forgive the crease lines, it happens fast sometimes with fabric. But this would work for background for any of these prints. This one is more of that deeper blue. We're gonna take a peek at some of the other colors here as well. We also have one here that's more of a medium blue. And actually the background on this one looks more ivory and or cream and this one looks more grayish. So they did change it up a little bit and it does change it a little, but it is really fun, it's really pretty. This one also has more of a creamy background, although it's not the same cream as this blue. And this one has that browny yellow for the background. I would totally use that with like these prints here because it just makes it pop. And lastly, this is one I would just have in my stash because I use colors like this a lot. It's kind of not a full sage green. It's a kind of uh, on the teal end of things. Um, and it also has that creamy background. I think it's similar to this one, although it does look a little dustier um, with that teal and it just is fun. So this is one that I would just go buy like four yards of just to have for that background someday when I need it. But they all are fabulous, they're all gorgeous. If you really like blues, either of these would be good. Um, if you are a fan of the browns, this one is, is a must have. So lots of really pretty prints, lots of great background options. Sometimes fabric um, lines don't do a good job of providing that, but this one is absolutely fabulous. So definitely check it out, Among Flowers from Cotton and Steel. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I love it when we get to take a peek and feel all the new fabrics and figure out what we might make with them. So that is the best part. I'd love to see your photos of what you actually do with some of these fabrics. You can tag me on Instagram at Quilt Addicts Anonymous, or you can post them to our Facebook page, tag me on TikTok, all the things. I'll, I'll probably be the one to actually see it on TikTok because I do personally monitor that one, but we have help on all the other ones. So check it out. Again, all these fabrics are available over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com and we'll be back next week with a new tutorial. Thanks so much and until next time, happy quilting.